Yes. Right, we just had lunch. I think I should explain to the carpoolers. Oh, yes. We've had lunch with our executive producer, I believe. Indeed, Charles Armitage, yeah. the, the one and only. In the beautiful surroundings of the Shepperton restaurant. I mean, you can't really call it a canteen, but it's a restaurant. It is it's a restaurant. <laughs> yeah, it's not the canteen. It's not a... Uh, there's no... Uh, Techies there, no, no uh, crews, no <laughs> armies of film crews there <laughs> looking Although for their bacon. I was, ex- I was expecting well. Russell Crowe to walk in any minute, but uh, that that's, that's what a, you expected. But got a sneaking suspicion he probably doesn't frequent the Shepperton restaurant. I don't know if he's here now, is he? Because they're shooting, what's it called, Nottingham? That's right, no, I, I'm no. not sure. I know, what's that there, Chris? we we'll a bit of car spotting. Is that an Aston Martin? That is a Jaguar. That's a Jaguar. You see, now, there you go. I saw it from the side. thought it was an Aston. Do you know, it's a new one, so yeah. I don't really give oh, it a, a monk or monkey's squiddle. So you're not impressed really. with a new model? We shouldn't get onto cars straight away. We should, <laughs> we should try and be around it. Um, <laughs> no, I'm, um, I'm not overly into new cars. Um, right. No, I, well, obviously, I'm, I'm taking in my surroundings. Yeah. Um, and um, I'm thinking this... O- is clearly a veteran of many carpools. <laughs> it has done the odd carpool. It's also shifted a lot of muddy children. Well, I'm thinking, you know, where am I putting my fingers here? In yeah. the, um, oh, yes, you need to be careful. Oh, it could be sweet. So I don't think it could be corner. sweet. When I, I play football for the dad's team, the local dad's team, and of course, you know, afterwards we go to the pub and they have to go outside to yeah. have their facts. And they come back into the pub absolutely and the stinking. pub smells of smoke. Yeah, yeah. You know? no, it's shocking. Well, You're absolutely work? right. No, when I, on, in the very long periods, I would like to point out when I don't smoke, which is most of the time, in fact. And then someone has a fact, you know, comes to our house and has a cigarette out the back, and then comes back in. I go, hang on, do I ever think that when I've had a cigarette, the children don't know? Because you know? yes, <laughs> they're, they're 100 feet away from you, you can still smell them, and it is very. It's strong. like at school, these sort of, you know, fifth formers would sort of come back, you know, into class, you know, yeah. between periods, they come into the next <laughs> class, chewing gum. <laughs> You know, absolutely reeking of yeah. that potpourri of Wrigley Spearmint and, and, and you um, know, number six. players number six. <laughs> and the boys, teacher yeah. would just look, he just look to the heavens and think, who are you fooling? Yeah. You know, it was just absurd. But now look at that though, Chris. 60 miles, 63.5 miles. So I've used just over a gallon of petrol to do 60 just miles. Just let me scrape off the um, <laughs> five inches of dust. Accumulated gunk on the screen <laughs> of this. Um, not exactly spotless. excuse for a car. <laughs> and what do you want me to look at? Sixty-three point five miles to the gallon. Okay, I'll have the cleaning bill later for that. Um, sixty-three point five mpg, fine. Yeah. What are you trying to tell me? Well, that that's quite good, uh, you know, for a lo- for a quite a large saloon car that could carry five people. And if it does yep. carry five people, it doesn't quite do sixty-three point five miles. I'll admit that. Do you know, I spoke to some people about, not that I've done any pre-research for that, but pre as I wouldn't waste my energy, um, but I did, in an idle conversation with a misguided taxi firm who'd for some reason traded in their Mercedes and bought a fleet bought of Prius Pri-I, or whatever it is. Pri-I-Pus. And uh, he said that on average 49, on average 49, mate. Right. So they're not as good as everyone says they are, but yeah. they're not too bad, but yeah. I'd still rather do... 40, right. uh, you know, in a decent car than 49, you know, <laughs> just because we look as if we're doing the planet a lot. Right, bit. yeah. Now, that, um, that side of it, I absolutely, totally am in agreement with you, the notion of greenness. And when, when I see them in London, these cars in London with green flowers painted on them, that, it was, you just, want to be sick, don't you? Yeah, it's yeah. profoundly offensive. It's just stupid, and it's also stupid from the point of view of Toyota, who also have never, they have never said that. Yeah. I've now checked, just to be sure. They never said it's a green car. Because it's, no, it's a car. You can't have a green car. Well, you can't really. I mean, mm. look at all the um, the CO two that's gone into making it for a start. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, I did. I strangely enough have a have a little drive in a G Wiz the other day. Right. As part I've, of a, right. uh, this show called Chris Barry's Agent Machine at the moment right. that I'm doing, um, which involves the 1980s, and of course we had to do the C5, yeah. oh. which I can report to you now oh, is okay. as oh, uh, disappointingly. So, such a Naff. tragic piece of it. Uh, yeah. Um, oh. Even the one on the shoot, I'm afraid, was. And was it o- an operating one? Because the one I had went four feet before it ran out of battery yeah. and then had to pedal it. He was saying 15 Tragic. miles the batteries oh, no will last for, and honestly, no. within about 300 yards of yeah. battery. And this is <laughs> sort of basically a, a grown up C5, really. Um, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm doing it down, really. It's, oh. Do you know, and the thing about the G Wiz, which got me, 
which the first thing I thought about is it's actually so quiet that in an urban situation it actually could be quite quite dangerous. Well, I guess I see. I don't know. I, that, I, that that argument is very popular. No, no, that that is, folks. Know. By the way, if you if <laughs> if someone says to you that argument is very popular, it means that argument is shy. <laughs> And I haven't fully thought well, it. Well, I, I, I probably haven't, but well, it's I'm my not sure because, reaction. Yeah, because most modern cars are very, very quiet. The engines are very quiet. You can barely hear it. You know, if you're standing next to a, a new car that's ticking over, it's not. It's yeah. not like. Dun, 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 dun. You know, you really can't. You can hardly hear it. They're so well silenced. So but I'm not sure. If, if I turn up at my TR2, they probably they will know you're coming. Yeah, they'll know I'm coming. Have you uh, got a TR2? I have. Yeah. Have you? Wow. But I, I'm noticing that sometimes we're, we're, you know, we're we're moving at slow speeds. There's nothing, yeah. and then well, it does I mean, kick I do, in, Yeah, I can do it now. So that that's all electric now. So it'll go up to 30, basically. Okay. If that person doesn't pull across the road, and I have to suddenly stop. So now it's 26, 27, 28, 29. So there it goes. Beep, and beep, then beep, you and that's the petrol like, engine kicking in. And you can even hear it. You can oh, hear yeah. it. Oh yeah, no, there is. But what's in the oh, first, yes. oh, first yeah, time yeah. you drove? You know, that I, was the most exciting bit of the drive so far. <laughs> It lasted for eight seconds. But there's such a delay, like if you're overtaking, like particularly around where I live, in a rural area where there's tractors, and you're behind a tractor doing 15, mm. and you can see, long, clear, straight road, you know the road well, nothing coming the other way, I will overtake now in a safe and sensible way, and I'll indicate and make sure no one's coming up behind, you know, really, really sensible. Right. You do that, and then you floor it, push your foot hard down, nothing happens. Because like now, I'll, well, I'll, take, I'll, I'll put my foot down now. So there's quite a long delay. Yeah. And the car I drove before, there was, you know, you had to drive with the, the hairs on your toe because it was so sudden. Because as soon as you touched it, boom! Oh, know. yes, sink back. So the difference yeah. was rather dramatic. So has anyone ever done any long term test reports on these? In oh, terms of reliability and all uh, that? I mean, I, well, I can do two years and um, 84,708 miles. Oh, that's okay. And yeah. nothing has ever remotely gone even slightly wrong. I mean, even like, at the moment, not even a light has gone off. Mm. I've had punctures. That's the right. only thing I've had. And that's, oh, that's due to my son bad. building skateboard ramps in the drive and leaving huge nails. <laughs> not small nails, big huge nails. I got a nail like that stuck in the tyre, like a bent six inch nail. So. That's quite a sort of little, sort of idiot proof diagram that. Of the yeah, it is. It's got four wheels. Up. And they're all going round. They go yeah. round. And then you've got battery. Battery. And engine. engine. It says engine next to it. Electric motor. Sure. Yeah, it's all that sort of, all those little arrows there. I mean, it really takes us on the most glorious routes, uh, <laughs> Mr. Llewellyn. The, um... So, this screen, I'm intrigued by this. Does this become a, a sat-nav if you want? Or, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's got sorts of there. There's a sat-nav there. It'll take a little rubber. You've got to read that obviously while you're driving which is oh, okay read the safety instructions and then you can make it that you know it goes down to you know all those things that works quite well i'll, mm -hmm. I'll defend that because i've had another built-in sat nav in a volkswagen she was just an intolerant it probably was. probably a member of the green party in germany you know but okay. very intolerant so okay. a very little patience turn left here do you yeah. turn now you know i can't i'm sorry but there is a mute button you can, you can turn off, and you can turn this one off too, yeah. But she's very gentle, and when you make a mistake, she then recalculates. Uh, okay. It doesn't kind of put you down. The other woman really, she belittled me. I was quite unhappy. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I've just got a new sat nav. Um, I do like to mix in a little bit of new technology. Okay, wow, you've got a sat um, right. the old. But the at night, of course, being a 26 year old jag, you know, at night, it's the brightest thing on the dashboard. Yeah, you know of I mean? course. All the lights are fairly very low, sort of low on yeah. those. Uh, yeah. yeah. What does B mean on that um, excuse for a gear stick? stick. <laughs> I presume that is the gear stick. That is the gear stick. It's for a man who's not threatened by his masculinity. Like sort of, sort of <laughs> it did Failed leave. design for a shaving plug. <laughs> So well, you, no, it's, if it's, you it, hit your knee against it too hard, it would sort of fall off. It would just drop off or put you into reverse. Well, that's quite cleverly designed. It's not. Yeah, it doesn't actually know. do any. I mean, well, that's the bra handbrake, right? No, that's brake. That's engine braking. I can't oh. really demonstrate that. But it, so if you're going down a hill, you don't have to use the brake, the foot brake. You can oh, put okay. it in engine, and that, it actually then saves so wear on your. Well, yeah, it, it, I guess so, and it locks up the drivetrain in some way that the that your momentum spins the petrol engine, but with all the valves open. So you, it's not have fun with it. Not really. Not really. Okay. I don't know that I've ever had anything you can classify as fun. Fun with that. No. <laughs>
just get bigger and more horrible. Yeah. Do you think um, so? I mean, do you feel that? I mean, that modern. Is there any modern architecture, for instance, that you l admire or think is good? One or two isolated things, but but in general, no. Right. In general, look, you look at that building, and you know, no one can really ever say that that is an unattractive building. Whereas that yeah, one, that is, and that one <laughs> over there, yeah, that is, which I know you, none of us could see. No, but that way, is but big ugly. Believe yeah. me, but yeah. that's sort of a red brick kind of Victorian type yeah. thing. Um, with, a set, with certain proportions in. It is, I mean, that's the thing I find is difficult, is the kind of human scale and then the bravery of modern brutalism. And, you know, we all know that people want to, you know, leave their stamp, their generation stamp yeah. on, on, on the world. But, but the 70s stamp was a bit of a dog poo, wasn't it? Yeah, 60s and 70s, those high rises and things, you know, um, not good. But, you know, we should always all accept the fact that for nearly half a century now, we've been saying that actually the Victorians, Edwardians, yeah. you know, Georgians kind of got it right, so let's kind of just maybe stick to that. Yeah. But you know, I get shot down in flames <laughs> by millions of people saying that. Probably lots of people will be twittering. What's it, what it called? Twitting? Twitter? Twittering. Well, they'll be they'll tweeting be about it. Tweeting you and chatting yeah. me. So there'll, there'll, there'll be some uh, architectural tweeters who'll go, Chris Bell, he just doesn't know what he's talking about with modern architecture or something. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah, who knows? Well, we've we'll, we'll probably had that before. Oh dear, now I'm now interestingly going down. Right, you are. I wonder you're if going... we could actually get through to. We could be going into a, a, a one of the most dangerous housing estates in Britain. <laughs> Back we in the could. Car, <laughs> it looks very, well, very respectable. I've actually patient. hit what I would call sort of model 1950s sort of Britain here. Yeah, it? it is, isn't it? Quite an old road, this old dual carriageway. Yeah. Um, oh, Feltham. With those houses that they never thought in 21st century Actually, quite would have big. carry as much traffic as they no, now do. But the places are quite big places, aren't they? Quite big houses. I think we should go to Feltham. Should we go to Feltham? The centre of well, it's a big young offenders prison there, isn't it? Feltham. There. Which I'm very glad to say I managed to get through my teenage years without visiting. Feltham too, did you? Okay. Yes. Oh, I'm glad as well, yeah. actually. Yeah. I think we all should be. I think I yeah. want to share a, um, a car, even if it's a Toyota. No. Uh, you, uh, you were a, um, yeah, I did ten years in film. man with a murky past. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, working with you was an absolute bloody joy. It really was. You, well, I... You, I you were such a brilliant I performer to work with. I feel the same way about your good self, sir. I can't really. I don't. I find it hard to believe. You know, hard to deal with it. Your entire audience either switch off <laughs> yeah, or vomit, vomit violently at their screens. At the mutual nubbiness. <laughs> no more of that. Okay, um, finish that. It was great fun. It was, and yeah, well, it was great fun for to to uh, to be back. And uh, the thing that really staggers me is that uh, it was ten years since we last did it in a set in a scripted form like that. Yeah. And how quickly. It just all seems very normal Absolutely to do it again. It? You know, yeah. it seemed like ten weeks, not ten years. But also, I think if anything, we all got on better this time than we. Than we are. I mean, I always think we always got on well. I don't think there was. Yeah, ever, I think. But actually, there was something. There was a bit more. Everyone was more relaxed about their lives and their careers and their jobs and their everything. You know, it yeah, felt like more much more to our life. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Which is an interesting, which I hadn't sort of, I hadn't considered it at all before we started, but you know. Well, I think, you know, when we all started off, well, I, obviously for Craig, Danny and myself, we were in our 20s. Yeah. And you, know, you have certain requirements as a man in your 20s. You're, you know, you're, you're getting ahead on the old greasy pole yeah. of your career and all that sort of thing. Um, and then in your 30s, you're sort of, you know, thinking about, you know, getting, settling down and all that sort of stuff. And you, you just get more mellow. And then now we're in our 40s, dare one so There's no lying. Well, there's there's no lying well like into our 50s. Well, yeah. I'm not far off that, Fibo. <laughs> so let's just say we're all about 50. Uh, or Craig would probably hate that. Yeah, no. A few years oh, no, don't count me in. I'm 28. Uh, yeah. uh, hey, hey. hey. Um, but so with Dad's army in space, we know. Yeah. yeah. We're, um, we all, <laughs> we, oh, we really are dead. We? we are, yeah. Uh, There's no, de uh, no denying it, yes. But I think <laughs> that, you know, yeah, you're right. We've mellowed and we, we're quite content and we've got nothing to gripe about. But fortunately, I don't think that's done anything to take away from the chemistry no, no. On, on screen, you know? So, no, it's been great fun and it's very exciting to see uh, some of the... Um, I'm really looking forward. I'm actually genuinely thing. looking forward to seeing it, which is weird because normally when you shoot something, I don't know. Doesn't it? That's not not something I ever want to do. Is see it? Don't you think this is the road? This is the road. Should I take a? It's Sunbury Tyre and Exhaust. I need to go. Oh, I'll go straight over. 
But we could go up there. That's what that's that's oh. Is that what we need to be? No, we can go around this Let's way. Let's go through Old Shepparton. Marvellous. <laughs> he said as if it's some sort of salvation. <laughs> Let's retread that happy path. I suppose it could be a sort of cast of Red Dwarf. We could do. Doing oh, that. But I mean, I've seen the scripts that you have to read to do them. And they are quite tedious. If you don't turn right now, you're, you're a complete utter goit. <laughs> that sort of thing? Or go straight on, man. <laughs> No. You gotta go straight on, man. <laughs> you don't go straight on. You know. I mean, I don't know. You know. You just, just look at us. Look, look at it. He's not going straight on. What's he doing now? You don't want to recalculate, man. You've got to recalculate. It's going to take me ten minutes. <laughs> and the cat. Now you've got to do all of us now, Chris. You can't stop there. If you don't turn left here, <laughs> all six of my nipples are tingled. <laughs> I nearly did that right. <laughs> nipples. I think I meant to say. But no, you're crying with the best, would he not, surely? Oh, yeah. he'd be very calm. Sirs, <laughs> sir, <laughs> madam, uh, miss, whoever you are, oh, you should have turned right there. <laughs> Never mind, my fault entirely. I'll recalculate as I've done for the last... Uh, I'm permanently recalculating on this, because I talk so much. I talk so much gibberish. <laughs> Nothing to do with the actor who plays me. <laughs> so, is that not true? It's so brutal. I hate Doug. <laughs> I hate him so much because all those things I keep now I've become it's, I think it's made me re, re aware of it again that I hadn't thought about it for years that I'll do something at home I'll do some little movement and I go Ugh, and it makes me shiver because that's fucking frightening that's not me <laughs> and the way I pick up the laundry but the fact that I am picking up the laundry yeah. basket one the fact that I'm picking it up with quite a lot of joy I'm quite looking forward to uh, sorting all the frightened as you are becoming frightened well yeah. I mean I think I always was basically and then that, and I like became my character oh, I've been too no, you're it it's not fair to say that, because that's actually, I've done a, I remember doing an interview in the States years ago with Craig, where we were going on that riff. You know, Danny's just like the cat man, he's got loads of clothes, Robert loves ironing, I do love a big cuddy. And even Craig, <laughs> to give me his two stuff, Chris isn't really like Rimmer. <laughs> Nobody could be like him. Nobody could be like Rimmer, man. You know? <laughs> I mean, that's anally retentive, no? <laughs> but Chris is pretty anally retentive, but he's not that bad. No. <laughs> No, that's not not quite like no, that. No, I um. But you do but play him exquisitely well. You know, well so. Yeah. <laughs> Just enough. Yeah. Uh, stop there. Sorry. That's, that's the problem. No. You see, everyone says there must be a little bit of you there, Chris. <laughs> yeah. it's got to be a little smidgen just to yeah. be able to do it that well. <laughs> exactly. This is the joyous um, centre of. This Shep is old Shepparton, 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 isn't it? Yeah. Do you remember? And I, I used to live up. I, was, I showed Craig that the day. Chip Tony, yeah. Above the um, the bank there, the Nat West. In, in your bed set. In my lovely little bed set. Learning those lines. God, wearing the bloody kitchen floor out trying to learn my long speeches. I, I like cameramen. They always made me, they always made me chuckle. I mean, because I loved the cameramen that we used to have. You know, the crew, they, they, we had a sort of one long running crew, didn't we? Probably for four or five series on Red Dwarf. Yeah. The, what were they called? Tele, was it Telegenic? Rocket. Yeah, Rocket yeah. and his posse, wasn't it? They were a good bunch, weren't they? And they were great. And they always, they were so helpful and their discretion, I used to love, they'd come up, you know, when we'd done a camera rehearsal and when the audience were in, you know, that was that kind of yeah, fact yeah. to get, and they'd yeah. go, Robert, when you do that line, when you say you're a smear, yeah. that one, just stand back about half a pace, so I get Chris, right? You know, they do, yeah, they yeah. wouldn't make a big deal of it, and you go, of course, fuck, yeah, I'm like, sorry. What they were saying was, Robert, yeah. get out of Get out of the way, because we, we need see the We need the big close-up, yeah. we need the money shot, mate. I think Mr. R is going to be delivering some major pom pom. <laughs> no, they were. Yes, yes, right, guys. That's right. As Daddy would say. Ask Chrissy. Lenny the Lens is new name for me, isn't it? <laughs> Lenny the Lens. I'll just tell them that I'm just bringing Mr. Barry in for the studio. There oh, we go. Hello there. Hello. Hello. We're actually just going and coming and going. Don't worry, I'll bring the Jag out. Yes. I'm, sure, I'm not, the proper car. I, I'm not staying. <laughs> Don't you start, Lum! <laughs> She's going to bring the barrier down on top of me now. <laughs> and well, she can well, go that way, can't we? Need I say more? Yeah, they're, they're absolutely. I'm not right. alone. I stand totally corrected. Oh, no, but I, I didn't I... guarantee that she would be there. You know, I didn't no. say that. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm going know. back in the drop it in the crap hybrid. Exactly. <laughs> it's a tenner. Slag it off. <laughs> but she is a fan of the Jag. Did she? Oh, she did she? She was in a Jeep Cherokee. She was saying, wow. get a, get, bring your proper car, please. Yeah, you're kidding. So, oh, yeah. So girls noticed. I, I didn't know. So, yeah. Wow. Maybe that's the, that could be the, my whole problem in life, was that I never had those sort of, you know, classy, classic be cars. Be seen in, in, in a cool car. Yeah. Um, 
But look, Jim Bob, you're no stranger than me. You had that uh, Volkswagen, which is quite yeah, a, R32. Quite a cool. But it's car. A, that, the problem with that was I did really love. In, I loved driving that car. Mm. I loved being in it and driving. I hated looking at it when I was outside. So I didn't like the colour. And also, it was a real. I mean, one shouldn't be rude about footballers, but it was, I think, a classic footballers car. Like a those who couldn't a, afford a, the Bentley. Yeah. Would practice all of those. Ne yeah. The next row, row down. Oh my God! Look, wait. What are they doing? They're moving his. Oh, oh car. Yeah. Jesus. Well, anyway, that's it, Chris. Got, that's uh, brilliant. Uh, thank you so much, because we've got to now watch Russell Crowe's caravans being moved, so we better get out uh, and uh, enjoy it. But thank you very much. That was brilliant fun. Is that, was that? Yeah, yeah lovely. It was, it was, no, it was really I love these programs, this program, because yeah. you know, it's, it's <laughs> nice informal start. Yeah. I didn't even know it had started. No, it's a nice you know, informal no. finish. Yeah, right, it's been great um, fun. You, don't worry, we're getting in here. No, we no, lots of hand signals. A lot of hand signals. Um, <laughs> yeah, thank you, Bob. I've enjoyed this. Especially. <laughs> thank you, over and out.